Well, here we are. It's April 6th. And if you can see, we're in a wheat field here in Ontario County, and it is greening up rather nicely. The wheat has awoken from dormancy, and it is looking for some food. It's looking for nitrogen. And I get a lot of questions right now. How do we estimate the amount of nitrogen that uh, we need to put on these plants right now as they're greening up, and how much do we put on at stem elongation? And what we want to look at is the number of plants and tillers in a square yard. And so what I've done here, I've kind of worked ahead. We have our, our yardstick laid out here, and I've lightly dug up the plants so they're easier to count and separate here. And you know, you just gotta you know pull them, tease them apart a little bit, and you can see where the plants come apart, and we can count them as we go. Uh, but right here we had 47 plants in this yard of row. And to get the square yard, we bring this back over here. And ideally here on seven inch rows, we have the one, two, three, four, five rows to make up that square yard. So we multiply the 47 times the five, and I think it's roughly 235. So 235 plants in this square yard. But ideally we want to count the number of tillers per square yard. So what we do is we uh, pick a couple plants and, and, average, and take some averages, but take a couple and spread them apart here and look at the number of of potential heads or in and main stem and tillers we have here this is a good example here we have one two three four five tillers on this including the main stem there and so to get the number of uh, tillers per square yard we multiply the 235 plants times if we, if we have an average of five tillers per plant we're almost 1200 tillers per plant so that's a lot that's a lot of tillers uh, in that plot and so ideally we don't uh, we don't really want to add nitrogen so that the chart that we use uh, we're looking at if we had 300 tillers per square yard or lower we'd probably want to put 60 units of N on right now and any remainder that you want to put on at stem elongation as it starts to elongate later on if there's 450 to 600 tillers per square yard we probably want to put 45 units of N on now and the remainder on at stem elongation if we're uh, above you know 700 to to a thousand range we'd probably want to put 30 on uh now and the remainder later at stimulation elongation in the case of this plot really being over a thousand almost 1200 i probably would recommend no nitrogen on at this time and most of it on at um at stem elongation you know a one shot deal uh because we really don't need this many tillers There's a lot here they're competing we hope that some, maybe some of these smaller tillers will not be able to compete and, uh, and we'll just kind of slough off here and let the remaining healthier ones, you know, provide most of the grain fill here, which it will. But uh, in this plot, yeah, we probably want to hold off on the nitrogen to a one-shot deal later on, being over 1,200, almost 1,200 tillers per square yard. So there it is, April 6th. Uh, how to estimate nitrogen on, on wheat here uh, using the tiller per square yard method.